Now let's complete the diagram. Okay, how did the girl describe the city hospital? How are we going to dis describe the place or how are we going to know that the sentence describe a place? It should, uh, in the sentence, it should say where it is located or where you can find the place, how it looks like, what is in the hospital, what can you see around the hospital? You can also put the people that you can see there. Okay. For number one, the question was, uh, the answer was, it's on Elm Street. Okay. You can see the hospital on Elm Street. Okay. Number one is you can see it on Elm Street. Now, what can you see on the hospital? Or what does the hospital have? Another answer is it has a lot of rooms. It has many rooms. Okay. This is another answer. It has a lot of rooms. And for number three, the last answer is, it is a big place. Okay. Remember, the answer in number one, you can put it in number two or number three. As well as in number two and number three, you can put it anywhere inside the box as long as these three are your answers, okay? I want you to put a check or one to know that your answers are correct, okay? This is how the girl described the city hospital. What can you see or where does the hospital located? The city hospital, it is on Elm Street. What can you see in that hospital it has a lot of rooms and it is a big place this is how the girl described the city hospital okay did you get all the correct answers very good okay now for your activity i want you to think about a place that you know you can think about your home or your favorite place where is it? What does it look like? I want you to complete the diagram, okay? I Here, I want you to write the name of the place. And inside these three boxes, I want you to write small description about the place. Where you can, where you can find the place or the city, the building. What can you see around it? You can write it inside these three boxes, okay? Write the name of the place. And here, I want you to write description about that place. What can you see around it? The people you can see there. How it looked like and the location or where can we see the place, okay? Teacher Crystal will give you time to write and answer your activity.
Now let's have an activity. I want you to write a description of the place you have chosen, okay? Use your ideas from the diagram. You can choose new words too. And after that, after you write the information from the diagram here, I want you to draw the place inside the box, okay? In here, I want you to write the name of the place. For the first sentence, I want you to write the name of the place. In the next sentence, I want you to write the location. Okay, the location or where can you find the place? Write it on the second sentence. On the third sentence, I want you to write if the place is big or small. Okay, what's number three? The third sentence, write if it is a big or small place. And for the last sentence, I want you to write what can you see or what does the place have? It has a, here, I want you to write, what can you see in that place? Okay, let's review again. In the first sentence, I want you to write the name of the place here. The name of the place, okay, in the first sentence. Next is the location. Where can you find the place? Okay? You write the location in the second sentence. In the third sentence, I want you to write if the place is small or big. It is a big place or small place. Okay? And for the last sentence, it has blank. What can you see in that place? I want you to write, what does that place have? And after that, I want you to draw in the box the place or what can you see in that place, okay? Teacher Crystal will show a video on how to make the activity.